Hey guys, I'm super glad that you've joined us today. I wanted to do a little experiment today to help you get a good picture of what Jesus did when he died on the cross for us. What he made available to us because he died on the cross for us. We've been talking about Easter all week long. We've been talking about how Jesus came to die on the cross to pay for our sins. We've said that Jesus came to die on the cross to forgive our sins. We've said that Jesus came to die on the cross to take the punishment for our sins. And all of those things are true. But I want you to get a good picture of what that really means. So we're going to do a little experiment tonight. I want you, first of all, to believe or to pretend that that penny represents your life. Okay? And it could rec represent my life too. And this blue water represents our sin and the Bible says that all of us have sinned the Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God so we have a problem because we're drowning in our sin the problem is though that there's nothing we can do about it we cannot fix our sin problem on our own we're just drowning in it Sin is anything we do that's disobedient to God. It's the things that we do that are not what he told us to do. And the things that we do that are what he told us not to do. So we all sin. We all fall short of what God wants for us, which is to be holy like he is holy. God saw this problem and saw that apart from him doing something about it, we would just be forever separated from God because of our sin. But God created us to have a friendship with him, a relationship with him. He didn't want us to have to stay in that condition of being separated from him. So God sent Jesus to be the light of the world. And the Bible tells us that when Jesus came to be the light of the world, Jesus lived a perfect life. He had no sin of his own at all. But then some people decided that they wanted to they wanted to find a way to have Jesus put to death because Jesus was claiming to be equal to God. But that's not really what Jesus was, because Jesus was God. And so these guys found a way to have Jesus arrested and have him put to death. So Jesus, who lived a perfect life, went to the cross to take the punishment for our sins. And Jesus died on the cross. And when Jesus died on the cross, he made a way for us to be forgiven of our sin. He made a way for us to make the choice to invite him to forgive our sin, to turn from our sin, and to follow him. The Bible says in John chapter 3 verse 16, God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only son, so whoever believes in him would not perish, would not die separated from him, but would have everlasting life. The Bible also says that without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness. Jesus shed his blood, and because he did that, he made a way for our sin to be forgiven. Just like that water was sucked up into that glass, Jesus made a way for our sin to be forgiven. All we have to do is believe in him, turn from our sin, and follow him. It's the best news ever. I hope you'll think about that this week. As you think about Easter, as we continue to talk about Easter, what does that mean for me? It means that there is a way for your sin to be forgiven, for you to be in the relationship, the friendship with God that he created you to be, 
and to be made right with him. I love you, I miss you, and I hope to see you soon.